Angel, Angel, can you hear me, Angel? Could you speak, please? Because I need to know if I can hear you. Listen to me, teacher. Listen to no, me. No, le estoy oyendo. No le estoy oyendo. Hello, teacher. Hello, hello. Hello, teacher. Harrison. Hi, teacher. Can you hear me, Harrison? Yes. Yes, teacher. Good evening. Good evening, Good teacher. Morning. I can hear you. Hello, 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 hello. Listen to me, teacher. Listen to me, teacher. Hello. Sí, sí, te escucho, Listen. Narciso. Hello, okay. hello. Yeah, okay. Okay, now speak. Hello, teacher. Good evening. No me oyen, no me oyen. O sea, no, usted no nos escucha, no, ¿verdad? No me, no me oyen. No, no les estoy oyendo. Yes, teacher. No les estoy oyendo. Ah, ustedes sí me oyen. Yes, teacher. Yes, 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 teacher. Let me see. I'm going to check up what is happening here. Speak now, please. Teacher, Hi, hello. Teacher. Ahí, 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 hello, teacher. Ahí sí hello, estoy, teacher. Ahí sí les estoy oyendo. Listen to me, teacher. Yes. I, I was... Okay. I, I was really worried because I didn't hear. Hello. Hello, teacher. What about now? Can you hear me? Yes. Yes, yes. teacher. Yes, teacher. Okay, okay, okay. Suddenly, I don't know. Maybe it has to be with the topic that we are going to study today. De repente y tenga que ver con el tema que vamos a ver hoy, lo que está sucediendo with my computer. But okay. now was a, a purpose, no fue a propósito. ¿Cómo? ¿Cómo? Problems. ¿Cómo? Problems, teacher. Yeah, we are going to see how can we fit problem in, in machinery, you know? Different kind of machinery. Because suddenly when we are in our companies, uh, the main machine start working and we need to know how we are going to solve the problem. Because if the, if, if the machine is not working, it's not production, you know? Okay. Okay, teacher. Yes, teacher. Okay, 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 okay. Um, Todavía le escuchamos con problemas, che, así a lo lejos se le escucha. Oh, really? Sí. Yes. Right. Really. Mm. Let me see. And now, can you hear me? Sí. Yes. Better? Clear. Clear, it's clear. Okay, don Angel, ¿me puede oír mejor? Sí, le escucho, pero le oigo así a lo lejos. Rafael, what about you? Can you hear me very well? Yeah, very well, clear. Okay, okay, entonces, ¿qué estará pasando? ¿Qué estará pasando? Something maybe is not... Bueno, ya veremos. De repente, si no me están oyendo cuando esté hablando, me avisa. 
Okay. I don't know what is happening with my computer. It's giving me some problem, maybe. Okay. I don't know what is happening here. That's the most important thing is that we are here just to practice English, okay? Remember that uh, every every day we need to make a review about the previous topic that we have studied. For that reason, I need that you keep in mind. Try to keep in mind what we studied uh, yesterday. <clears throat> and also we are going to see a new vocabulary in order that you can increase your uh, knowledge <clears throat> Okay, I guess you are ready. Okay, let, let us do it now because because of the time we are going to start talking about the new topic. This is section number 11. And I got only 10. I don't know why I have a lot of just 10 students. 
Maybe because of the result of the soccer match last night. Será que tuvo que ver el resultado de el partido de anoche? I don't know. Por gusto, teacher, por gusto. Bueno, ya ven que ya ven que por eso era mejor estar en la clase. <laughs> ah. Imagínense todo lo que fueron a traer COVID. Ah, imagine all the people that got infected with yes. COVID and uh, they are they are passing to everybody next to them, to the, their families, co-workers, and different kinds of people. And you paid it in order to get it. They paid it in order to get hasta pagaron por ir a, a traer el, you know? Yes. We, we need to be careful about that. You know, it's really dangerous. Really, really, really dangerous. A lot of people is dying. For the reason we need to pay uh, care and follow the protocol in order to avoid being infected. And I know that right now we feel free because we don't have the mask. And I keep with the mask the whole day. <clears throat> and suddenly we have a song mark in this part on the chip because of the, the mask. But what about you? Are, are you using mask the whole day or not? Yes, yes, oh. teacher. Ah, Let me turn on Okay, let me see. I'm going to start now because I don't have a, I can be waiting 25 minutes for the rest of the class. They are going to add during the process. Ellos se van a agregar durante, vayamos avanzando, porque ya pasó suficiente tiempo. Yes, teacher. Maybe they have a, any kind of problem. Maybe. Es posible que algunos tengan alguna dificultad para llegar a sus casas, ahí están saliendo tarde. Bueno, sé que se vayan sumando, no hay problema. Ok, let me see the attendance. Ok, ya sé, present, I'm here. Ok, 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 ok. I got here. Okay, Ana del Carmen. Ana. La vi hoy, no la he visto. Eh, Ángel. Present, teacher. Eh, Cristina. 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 Giovanni Alexander. Present, teacher. Ahí está Giovanni. Eh, Harrison. Present. Okay. Eh, José Miguel. José Miguel, José Miguel, José Miguel. Juan Carlos Palacios. Carlos. Karina Noemí. Karina. Eh, Linda. Present teacher. Ahí está Linda, ve. Eh, María Idalia. María. 
Y Dalia no está. María Julia sí la vi. María Julia. Present teacher. Ok, Marlen. Marlen. No. Eh, Marvin. Nancy y Ver. Está aquí. Norma Carolina. Norma. Rafael Ernesto. Present teacher. Eh, Raquel Judith. Present teacher. Reinaldo Castro. Present teacher. Ahí está, don Reinaldo. Eh, Suleima. Present teacher. Sí, Omar del Carmen. Sí, Omar. Eh, Ana Cristina. Present teacher. Only 12. I don't know what's I'm happening. Ah, Miguel is there. Miguel is there too. Miguel. Jose Miguel. Ahí está Jose Miguel. Somebody else? Y tenemos cuatro comentarios. No le escucho, no le escucho. Bueno, esto fue en su momento que no me escuchaba. But right now you can hear me, okay? Okay, let us start talking about the last topic. Uh, remember, yesterday we make uh, a kind of general review of all different topics that we have started during the last week. El día de ayer hicimos como un repaso general de... Los temas que habíamos visto durante, eh, durante lo, la semana. Y entonces ahorita nos toca enlazar el último tema que vimos. No ayer, sino el día de antier. Do you remember who, the topic? To get connected with the topic that we are going to study today. Just tell me. ¿Se recuerdan el tema que estuvimos viendo? Sí. Giovanni. Do you remember? Eh, how you use eh, allow. Uh, not allow here, okay? Not allow. Yeah, smoking is not allowed here. Okay, drinking is not allowed, allowed here and so on, okay? Just give me uh, some example in order to start the new topic. Uh, we, we aren't allowed to eat in the class. Ah, okay, okay, excellent. Somebody else, somebody else want to say something? Por lo visto como que estamos teniendo problemas de señal. Veo algunos que se conectan y luego se desconectan. I don't know if the weather is really bad in the areas where you are living. I don't know if there is raining in some areas. But... A mí me da problema, teacher, y por eso a veces le bajo la cámara. O entro con la cámara abajo y después la pongo mientras me dure. Ah, ok, sí, eso Pero no bien. sé si estoy en el sector de mexicanos, no sé si será algo general y, y estigo mi, re, mi internet. Sí, estoy mirando que algunos compañeros suyos entran y luego como que se les va la señal. Quizás por eso es que no han logrado conectarse. 
Yo he aprendido que mejor entro con cámara abajo y de allí la subo para ver si la logro agarrar. Ah, ok. Es un buen tip. Es un buen tip. Sí, porque consume un poco, eh, consume más datos. Eso es muy cierto. Okay, going back again to the topic, we were talking about the word not allowed. I need at least two more examples in order to start a new one, please. Just tell me what you remember. You don't need to see your notes. Mencioneme lo que se recuerdan. Así como Giovanni nos dio ejemplo también, alguien más puede decirnos. Yes, I'm here. Please. Okay, somebody else want to say something about this? Me, teacher. Okay, Angel. It is not allowed. Yes. Show during a test. Ah, okay, okay. What else? That's it. Okay, remember that we are going to use this word in order to talk about something that is prohibited, right? Para algo que está prohibido. Ahí está, mire, ya apareció linda otra vez, mire, se le, le, se le va la señal. Okay, okay. Let's start talking about a question that I have here in order that you can tell me what you are think, what do you think about this question? And in that way, we are going to start talking about the new topic that we need to study today. Uh, we are going to talk about expression for describing issues, you know. And we already talked about the review. And I have a question here that said, what are some common problems at, excuse me, what happened here? Sorry. At plan, make a list. Could you share with me what are some common problems at the plan? in your area, in the place where you work. Can you tell me something that usually happen? In my case, for example, in the place where I work at Martin, I have a problem that is connection. I'm trying to give my class, my virtual class, and suddenly I, I lost the connection, you know? And there is a problem. For example, teacher, in my job, so, sometimes uh, the printer, it's a problem. Ah, the printer is not working? It, it doesn't it, work. Okay. It's a, mm -hmm. like, how, how can I say this? It's a, it's a laser printer or it's a, o es una de las matriciales de las que habían antes. Porque en los negocios generalmente tienen una de matrices. Que hacen un sonido así. Ah. Oh, it's new no. one. It's new one. It's, it's new. But I don't know. It, it, it was. Era mejor la de antes. La ah, viejita. Okay. Much better than the old one. The, the, the new one. That new one, yes. Ah, okay. You prefer the old ones. Yes. Ah, okay. It's good to know. Because work better. Okay, work well, better. Excellent. Okay, somebody else want to share with me? One problem that you are facing in your job. Tell me. There is not the internet. Teacher. Ah, there is no internet service in your, in the workplace? Workplace, yes. Okay. And how you resolve the problems? You need to use your data or what? 
How do you do? Do, uh, I, I cannot print the report. Ah, okay. Uh -huh. Okay, somebody else want to say something about this? Another problem that you have, please tell me, share with me. Remember that we need to make a list of problems. But maybe only yes, Angel and Linda and me have problems. The rest of you, maybe you don't have any problem in your job. What can you tell me? There is not energy. Ah, sometimes the power is not working. Yes, teacher. Jesus. We need to have a solar system, you know. Okay, somebody else, somebody else, please, please, please tell me, tell me, tell me. I need that you participate. No problem. Okay, I'm waiting, I'm uh, waiting. Teacher, problem uh, the, with Jimin, Jimin. O sea, problemas con el email, con el correo. Ah, no okay. Podría decir. Okay, okay. What, uh -huh. what happened with the, with the email? Um, uh, Do you remember the password? You can open yes. it. Uh, no. Uh, una actualización, ¿cómo le podría decir? Que update. Update. Mm, mm, eso. Okay, suddenly, uh, even computers, before to start working, we need to check up because suddenly they, uh, they can, they stop working because they are updating. De repente se apagan y comienzan a dar una nueva actualización. And it is better that we program that. Es mejor que nosotros programemos cuando se haga y no cuando ella quiera. Okay. Thank you. Somebody else, please. Somebody else, tell me. Internet instability problem. Ah, okay. Uh, uh, what I'm seeing is that we have a problem in the, in, in, in the whole country. Maybe that is the reason why uh, government is trying to look for uh, satellites and put it on, on the space. I don't know, I'm not pretty sure about that, but well, I, I've been reading in news. Okay, what else? ¿Qué más? Tell me, tell me, please. Another problem? No. No problem, no problemas. No. Okay. Luck, lucky you. Because you don't have any problem in your job. But in different places, we have a lot of problems. In my case, that I work in a, in education, the problem is that sometimes I receive some student, and I don't know if they have a relative that uh, is six. Imagine it is difficult for me to be asking, "Do you have a relative with COVID?" No, I can do that. You know. In in my case, teacher. And in my workplace, and the machine problem, the machine with um, no function. It's not working. How do you say? It's yes, not, it's not working. It's not working. Okay. Yeah. What, what, what kind of machine are you talking about? 
and the Owen. Ah, the Owen, okay. The Owen, the, how do you say, selladoras de caja? It is called seal boxes. Y printer de date. Ah, the printer date? Mm -hmm. Okay. The, the, the print. Uh -huh. it, it is electronic or, or mechanical? Uh, electronic. Okay. The machine electronic. Yeah, 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 yeah. Talking about the machine. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay, okay. I don't know if you can see it very well here. If not, I'm going to show you the, the book. We are going to read this conversation. It is between Ramon and Darian, and they are talking about something like, like that, that we are talking about. But let me see what's going on here. Okay, I, I don't know if you can see the, the, the words. Just tell me if you have problem, I can show you the book there. Pueden ver bien la letra? Yes, yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. You know, was a more bigger, okay? Okay, Ramon said, thank you for coming, Dorian. No problem. Somewhere we put it, a pole on one of your machines. I have a look at, I have a look at it. You are right. You know, it does not work properly and it's made a strong, a strange noise. This is a complex machine. So maybe you will need some time. Yes, complex machine have a lot of components. I need to take the metal casing off to very, if it is a minor for what? I guess there is some mistake here to verify. To verify, I guess it's gonna be here. I understand. If that is the case, we need to speed sin up. I recommend check the bridge once a fortnight to make sure they're not down. And what happened if they are? We will have to extend the shots. Okay, take a look at the conversation, please. And try to understand it and get familiar with the pronunciation of each word. And at the same time, you can identify all the difficult words for you and maybe that you don't know the meaning. Okay. What does one of Fortnite mean, teacher? Let me see, let me see what you are talking about. It's once, es una vez. Once, es una vez. One, a fortnight. Do you know the word night? Yes. yes. Okay, try to understand the context. Fair, before to tell you, antes de decirlo, trate de, de como de relacionar el contexto para ver qué me dice. Que lo revise a diario. Mm, Fortnite. What is Fortnite? Esa es la pregunta que me hizo. Fortnite, it is like uh, 15 days. What? 15 días. Yeah, so okay. como una vez a la quincena. Yeah? Thanks, teacher. Okay. Once, once a fortnight to make sure they are not down. <clears throat> okay, what else? ¿Qué más? Well, like, okay, 
Let me get to your desk because maybe you are going to have problems to see it. Okay, hold on here. Let me see where I have it. I got it here. Okay, much better, okay? Okie dokie, it's gonna be better this way. Oops, a little bit. Put it a little bit. Okay, 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 okay. Here we go. Here we go again. I'm going to read it again. Thank you for coming, Darian. No problem. Someone reported a fall on one of your machines. I, I'll have a look at it. You are right. You know, it does not work properly. And it makes I exchange noise. This is a complete machine. So maybe you will need some time. Yes, complete machine have a lot of components. I need to take the metal casing off to, to verify if it is a minor for what. I understand. If that is the case, we need to speed thin up. I recommend check the brush one a fortnight to make sure they're not down. And what happened if they are? We will have to extend the shots. Okay. So Teacher, wife, tell me. What kind of machine is? What kind of machine we are talking about it? <laughs> de qué tipo de máquina estaremos hablando? <laughs> It's a good question, right? Because remember that uh, right here, let me see. Well, right here said that it's making a strange noise. Está haciendo como un sonido extraño, no? Remember that it's a complete machine, but we don't have the, the, the exactly made. But right here said that we need to fix it up. Okay, let me see. And it has brushes, brushes, cepillos, or algo así. Oh, no, yeah, no it, is, it is something like that. Yeah, brooch. Brush. A lot of components. I need to take the metal casing off. Necesitamos sacar eh, la caja metálica para ver si no es un daño menor o qué es lo que sucede. Right here, maybe they are talking in a general way because sometimes uh, different machines in companies uh, had the same structure, talking about complete machines. And also, uh, if we, we can talk about, uh, let me see, how can I tell you this? A photo, photocopy machines also, uh, sometimes we, we use this kind of vocabulary. Algunas veces cuando hablamos también de fotocopiadoras, eh, algunas veces, Tienen algunas partes que también se le pueden extraer para poderla revisar. ¿Ya? It's the same, the same problem that I have. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it is the same problem that maybe you are having in your job, right? Okay, uh, okay, I need the volunteer who wants to read it. And later on, we are going to practice together. Me, hey, teacher. Okay, do it. Uh, all the conversation alone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The, the whole conversation. Okay. Um, thank you for coming, Dorian. No problem. Someone reported a fault on on one of your machines. I'll have a look at it. You are right. You know, it does it does uh, it does not work properly, and it makes a strange noise. This is a complex machine, so maybe you will need some time. Yes, complex machines have a lot of components. I need to take the metal casing off to verify if it is a minor fall or what. I understand. If that is the case, we need to speed things up. I recommend check the brushes once a fortnight. 
to make sure they are not down. And what happened if they are, we will have to extend the shot. Okay, excellent. Okay, so very please. Somebody else want to do it? No? Me, teacher. Okay. Thank you for coming, Dorian. No problem. Someone reported a fault one, one of your machines. I have a lot. Look at it. You are right. You know, it does not work properly and it makes a strange noise. This is a complex machine, so maybe you will need some time. Yes, complex machine had a lot of, lot of components. I need to take the metal casing of you of to verify it is a minor fault or what. I understand. If that is the case, we need to speak things up. I recommend check the brushes once a fortnight to make sure they, they are not down. And what happens if they are? We will have to extend the shot. Okay. Okay, I, I guess that you are ready to practice with Pareo in a breakout room. But I don't know if you, uh, if somebody have any questions so far from here. No sé si alguien tenga alguna pregunta hasta el momento. No, teacher. No, no question? No question. Hmm, okay. I'm going to stop sharing. Let me see, right now we have more, 17, okay. Excellent, welcome back. A pleasure to see your faces again. Let us practice this conversation. And that way you are going to increase your knowledge and your skill how to pronounce words. That, that is the main point that you need to practice. But so please don't worry about mistakes. And speak, try to do it. Les pido de favor que traten por todos los medios cuando hay oportunidad de poder hablar que lo hagan. Tomemos como ejemplo a los compañeros que ya lo han hecho. Ellos entre más van practicando, más van desarrollando el idioma, las habilidades. Y eso me alegra mucho, pero me gustaría hacerlo con todos. Con todos. Así es que por favor... Miedo, quédate a un lado y vamos hacia adelante. Sin miedo al éxito, dice ahí alguien que estaba oyendo hoy. Así es que acordémonos de esa frase y vamos hacia adelante. Ok. Here we go. And uh, the moment that you, are, that you, that you will be practicing uh, the conversation, you can switch the role if you have enough time. Al momento de la práctica pueden también cambiar el rol. No solo ser el mismo personaje para que aumente su capacidad. Ok, let me see how many, 17 I guess. Ok, let me see here, it's gonna be... Ok, en uno van a quedar... Uh... Vamos a quedar tres. Ahí se le dan... Uh, the, the opportunity to practice, please. Let me see. Okay, and the number one is going to be Anna, Giovanni, and Suleyma. You can switch your roles in order to practice, okay? Here we go. Try to do it the best way and try to participate. Here we go. Here we go. What's happened? Okay, right now, all the participants are practicing the conversation that is suggested in the manual or books. It's really important that when we are studying a language, we need to practice a lot. Every time that you have the opportunity to do it, you have to do it. 
Yeah, don't be shy in order to do it. And don't worry about mistakes. We can learn by mistakes, you know? For that reason, there is something in English that is called try and error. And that way we can get the perfection. And every time that we are doing something, we have to try to do it in a better way. But we need to practice over and over. Okay, welcome back, welcome back. Are you ready? Yes? Yes, teacher. Okay. Who wants to start now, please? Me, teacher with Narciso. Okay, excellent. I like that. <coughs> okay. Um, thank you for coming, Dorian. No problem. Someone reported a fall on one of you machine. I'll have a look at it. You are right, you know, it does not work properly and it makes a strange noise. This is a complex machine, so maybe you will need some time. Yes, complex machine have a lot of components. I need to make the metal casing of the very it is a minor fall or what? I understand. If that's the case, we need to speed it. Sign up. I recommend check the brushes once a fortnight to make sure they're not down. And what happens if they are? We will have to extend the shoot. Thank you, Marie Dalia. Thank you. Okay, somebody else, please. Mariel. 
Nancy? Yeah. Yes. Okay. Okay. Uh, thank you for coming, Dorian. No problem. Someone report a foul on one of your machine. It'll have a look at it. You are right. You know it doesn't not work for play. And it's made a string nose. This is complex machine, so maybe you will need some time. Yes, complex machine. Have a lot of components. I need to take the metal coating of to very if it is a mirror pole or what? I understand. If that is the case, we need to spin thing, thing up. I recommend check the brush. Once for one or 14 to make sure they're, they're not down. And what happened if they are? We will have to extend the shirt. Thank you, Cristina. Thank you. Okay, excellent. Somebody else, please. Maria? Come on, you can do it. Let her do it, let her do it now, please. Somebody else, somebody else, somebody else, please. Okay, Herson, thank you for coming, Dorian. No problem. So one report a follow one of your machines. I'll have a look, a look at it. You're right. You know, it does not work properly. And it's made a strange noise. This is complex machine. So maybe you will need some time. Yes, complete machine have a large component. I need to make the metal casing as to verify a minimal fall or what. I understand. If that is the case, we need to stop to stop thing else, thing else, sorry. I recommend check the brushes once on fortnight to make sure they are not down. And what happens if they are? We will have to extend the chat. Okay. Okay, I like that. What else? Somebody else, please. Me, teacher, Norma, okay. creo que era mi compañera. Okay, Norma, Norma. Okay. <clears throat> thank okay. you for thank you for coming, Dorian. No problem. Someone reported a foul on one of your machines. I have a look at it. You are right. You know, it does not work properly and it makes a strange noise. This is a complex machine, so maybe you will need some time. Yes, complex machines have a lot of components. I need to take the metal case of the to very if it's is a minor fall or what? I understand. If that is the case, we need to speed thing up. I recommend you check the brushes once a night to make sure they're not down. And what happens if they are? We, we will have to extend the shoot. Okay. Thank you. Okay, excellent. Somebody else? Somebody else, please? Huh? Okay, uh, let me see the time, okay. We have enough time to... Okay, I need that you pay attention. 
I'm going to show you this. And I need that you pay attention about the words involved. Necesito que me le presten atención a las palabras que están en negrilla. And try to identify, please. Trate de understand what is the meaning and the function in, in the conversation, please. Try to check it. Yes, teacher. Okay. Okay, I guess that's it. What can you tell me about it? What can you tell me? Any idea? No? I think maybe um, that word help us to um, report a, a machine, a problem machines. Okay. It is a vocabulary useful to talk about a uh, problem in, in, in you need to prepare or to call uh, to a specialist. Okay, I like that. Somebody else? Okay, piense, piense, piense. Try to think about it. Need to check out the attendance now. Let me see how many people do we have here now. Okay, let me see. Right here. I got it. What's going on with my computer? Okay, okay. Here we go. Ana del Carmen. Present teacher. Eso, ya apareció, ya apareció Ángel. Present teacher. Cristina. 
Present. Eso, Cristina. Eh, let me see. Giovanni. Present, teacher. Person. Present. José Miguel. Juan Carlos Palacios. Present, teacher. Ahí está Juan Carlos. Karina Noemí Álvarez. Present. Eso, up here, up here. Ok, Linda y Beth. Present, teacher. Eh, María Idalia Hernández. I am here, teacher. Ok, uh, María Julia. María Julia. María Julia. Let me see my camera. I don't know what is happening here. I got it here. Okay. Um, eh, Nancy. Ah, but before Mar 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 Marlene Nicole. Is that here? Marlene? No. Okay. Marvin. Nancy is present, right? Okay. Norma. Presente. Okay. Eh, Rafael Ernesto. I'm your teacher. Okay, Raquel Judith. Present teacher. Eh, Reinaldo Castro. Present teacher. And uh, Xiomara El Carmen Castro. Present teacher. Okay. And Ana Cristina Chavarria Flores. Present teacher, no me. Suleima. Suleima? Yes, no me nombró. Let me see. Suleima, Suleima, Verónica. Yes, present. <laughs> okay, okay, I'm sorry. I just really, really, really sorry. Marlene Nicole is not here, right? Okay, let us continue talking about this. Okay, before to see the next slide, I would like to know if you have a problem, how can you solve it? Imagine you have a problem in a, in a machine, could be your computer printer, a copy machine in a fax or maybe in a, in a leaf do you know what is a leaf hello no teacher what is ah, it? it is a machine that you use in order to handle the product that is heavy in order to put it inside a car it's a montacarga, it's a leaf. Maybe you have problem with that, what kind of machine and how you are going to solve it. What can you tell me about it? Try to imagine. Use your imagination. In first case, what can you do? Mm -hmm. De primera mano, ¿qué es lo que podríamos hacer? Dígame. Okay, according to the material, de acuerdo al material o al libro. Ah, I forgot to tell you that uh, in the book, I'm going to show you here. I'm going to share it with you. Uh, you got uh, some link that you can watch if there is, if there is a, a video. For example, here, you need to watch this video about reporting a maintenance problem, you know? You are going to click, click on here and you are going to redirect it to watch the video. That is uh, referring to the topic. In this case, I can show you the video here. For the reason I need that you take a look in your free time, but what I can do is just to talk about what the video said about this. Okay. And let me see if it is possible that you can see it very well in a bigger way. Okay. And right here, say how to solve matching problems. And the first set that we can who is just in person, how you are going to solve it in person. 
tell me what is the first step that we can follow in order to resolve the problem the first one is in person what does mean ¿Qué significa eso? Hello? Hello? Estamos hablando de reparar máquinas. And the first, according to the video, the first option that we have is in person, right? That means that we can go in front of the desk of the company that where we bought the equipment, and if it is a small, we, you can say, okay, I need that you uh, check this because it's not working well. Imagine that it's a cell phone you are going to take you with you and you are going to ask for help. And maybe they are going to say, okay, you have to leave it here and you are going to fill out this form and explaining what happened and we are going to call you back into 15 days and we are going to study the case in order to be sure if the warranty is going to cover it or we're going to pay it. Do you understand? Yes? Me comprendió lo que le dije, sí? Be honest, be honest. Hello? Are you there? Are you are you there? No teacher. Ah, no están ahí. No teacher. Ah, okay. No entendimos. Okay, es que, eh, ya les dije que cuando de repente así me vean que me que me les voy así muy lejos, rapidito. Okay, mira. Imagínense que tenemos un problema en la compañía. Eh, X máquina se arruinó. La primera forma que tenemos de poder reparar algo es in person, right? What does mean? In person means that you are going to take up all the pen of the kind of the machine. Depende de la clase de máquina. Usted puede ir, uh, when I say in front of this, in the company where do you buy it, usted puede ir a la compañía y decirles, miren, fíjense que esto que les compré no me está funcionando. It's a way how to solve the problem. Another way is, right here, maybe this is going to sound uh, like weird. En nuestro país posiblemente esto les va a sonar así como medio raro, aunque no creo porque, uh, bueno, ya la mayoría trabaja en diferentes lugares que están muy modernos y que se resuelven uh, algunas cosas de diferentes maneras. For example, if you want to buy a new machine, you just look it up in the web and you order and, and pay by PayPal or different kind of Bitcoin or something like that. And the company, as soon as they get the money, they send it back. Entonces hoy, si queremos comprar una máquina que está en Alemania, si se hace el depósito del dinero, ahí viene la maquinita. Entonces así funciona. Como when you, when you buy something in, in Amazon, you know, cuando compras algo en Amazon, it is the same. Okay, but what happens, for example, if you buy something in Amazon, how you are going to, how is going to be the process in order to ask for help if you have a fall in your equipment? ¿Cómo sería el proceso eh, si, por ejemplo, Karina compró una cámara en Amazon y de repente la cámara, eh, después de dos o tres días, le comenzó a dar problemas? ¿O a ella a buscar ayuda? referente a ese problema. Tell me, Karina. Maybe send an email. Aha. Excellent. Okay. And explain the problem. And explain and... the problem. Okay. That means that you are talking about that you are going to refer to your home or residence of hers. You are going to look it up the web page. And there you are going to send a message explaining everything, okay? Ahí les va a explicar y les va a decir, les compré una cámara tal día, 
tengo tantos días de haberla usado. O incluso, right here, you can see some tips how you can solve the problem. Incluso en la página web, ahí puedes encontrar cómo, cómo resolver el problema. ¿Sí? Ahí mismo. Pensado en la, eh, esa mechanical machine with model and something like that, then there you can see the manual and how to operate it. Okay, this is the second way. And the third one is online. How? How could be online? This is in person, this picture. Yeah, he's checking the machine. But what about online? How, how can I do it online? If I got a full now equipment, how can I do it? ¿Cómo puedo resolverlo? Online. We already uh, saw in, in, a, in a web page that maybe you are going to say, but it is online too. Yeah, but when I say online, I refer to another issue, you know? ¿Cómo entonces podría resolverse eso así online? Maybe I'm going to have a, a video conference and I'm going to show the product and I'm going to say, okay, do you remember that I bought this? Yes, okay. I don't remember how to use this button here. And also, I don't know how to this button at this side work. Can you tell me, please? How can I solve it or show me something? How can I do it, please? Okay. But sometimes we don't do it because uh, when, when we buy something online, uh, we need to speak English, right? Because sometimes they, they don't speak Spanish. Y algunas veces no reclamamos porque necesitamos el inglés. Entonces, dicen, no, mejor hay que se quede, pero no. Está fácil. What you need is just to participate in classes. And right here, you are going to learn how to deal with the issues. Y aquí vamos a aprender cómo resolver esos problemas. Pero no quiero que se me queden así solo calladitos, no. Okay, I need that you give me at least uh, one example for each. If you have a problem, I need that you give me an example in person, uh, go to halls or online. How can you give me an example, please? Alguien que quiera darme un ejemplo? Me, teacher. Okay, Maria um, Italia. Sometimes, thanks. Okay, sometimes uh, we have a problem with the, the print at the reception, the, the reception, and uh, so, sometimes uh, the, the technical support uh, doesn't have time to, to go to my workplace, okay. and he, uh, he uh, do a, a video conference, okay. and okay. he said uh, the steps to that solve you get, the that problem. You need to follow. Just that. Okay. If the problem is a uh, if a uh, if it is a minor fault, I can solve. But oh, yeah. if not, uh, he has to to go to my workplace. Okay. Excellent. And he had to pay uh, his tool, the screwdrivers and different kind of tool that they can use, you know? Yes. Different kind of tool, okay. Okay, 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 okay. Somebody I want to say something about this. So, tell me. Tell me, tell me, tell me, tell me, what else? Somebody else, somebody else want to say something about this? Okay, let me show you something um, and explain it too. We already talked about the three different ways according to the video. We can have it in person or refer to the whole or residence per. 
Uh, but uh, talking about this, I don't know if when you buy something like a camera, uh, I don't know if you have read the manual. No sé si han leído el manual cuando han comprado alguna cámara o teléfono. Y ahí les aparece y dice, eh, if you have any question, just send it to this email or you can call to this number. Si tiene alguna duda o pregunta sobre el producto, escriba un email o llame a este número. ¿Han leído eso? No. Yes, teacher. Ah, ok. Ok, excelente. Ok, take a look at this plan and equipment maintenance. Ok, maintenance on plan and equipment is carried out to prevent problems arising, to put fall right, and to ensure equipment is working effectively. And also maintains may be part of a planned program or may have to be carried out to short notice after a breakdown. It's always involved non-routine activities and can expose those involved and others to a range of risks. What is the meaning of these two paragraphs? El mantenimiento de la planta, del equipo. Sirve para eh, prevenir problemas o que aumenten los problemas, las fallas, ¿sí? Y asegurarse de que todo esté funcionando de la mejor manera. For that reason, in every company, uh, there, there are some people in share of keep everything working the right way, right? Hay algunos equipos eh, de personas, technician, in share of keeping uh, everything working well, like air conditioner and different kinds of uh, machines, you know? And also the maintenance may be part of a planned program or maybe how to carry out a short notice after a breakdown. Generalmente el sistema de, de mantenimiento eh, es un programa planificado, ¿no? Algunas veces pues puede ser que les tome de sorpresa que algo no funciona, pero es muy importante tener eso en cuenta. And also we have a question, what is it? Maintenance of plan and equipment important. What do you think about this? What is the reason why it is important? An effective maintenance program will make plan and equipment more reliable. It will break down will mean less dangerous contact with machinery required, as well as having the cost benefit of better productivity and efficiency programa de mantenimiento eh, va a hacer que todos los equipos sean eh, como que estén funcionando mejor y menos eh, interrupciones, menos peligro, menos contacto máquinas y eh, el, los costos y los beneficios de productividad y eficiencia eh, mejoran, ¿sí? Okay, additional hazard can occur when machinery become unreliable and develop fault. Maintenance allow this fault to be diagnosed early, managed, and risk. Una de las cosas es que a través del mantenimiento se puede diagnosticar el riesgo. However, maintenance need to be correctly planned and carried out. Necesita ser planificado y llevado a cabo. And say maintenance has caused many fatalities and serious injuries either during the maintenance of those using the bad maintained or wrongly maintained repair equipment. Si cuando se está eh, dando el mantenimiento a algo no se tienen los cuidados pertinentes o can be accident, pueden haber accidentes, ¿no? Pero uh, there is a, a special term 
or there are special terms that we can use in order to talk about this. And right here we have a why should employers do this employer who provide equipment for use for hand tool and ladder to electrical power tool and large plant need to ensure that. So for us is reasonable practical world that the machinery and equipment under their control is safe and without risk to health. One way to achieve this is for employer to have arrangement in place to make sure machinery and equipment is maintained in a safe condition. Employer, do you know what is an employee employer the different? Yes. Hello. Yes. Yes, teacher is different. Yeah, 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 I know. But in Spanish, you know the meaning? Employer? El patrono. Empleador. El patrono. Sí, debe de proveer del equipo para usarse. Eh, y, 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 y el empleo es el que debe tener el cuidado de cómo lo va a usar. Porque si no, uh, we have problems, right? Uh, also, before to go to see something else, um, I have, a, I have a, a long vocabulary that I would like to share with you. Of course, that we are not going to study exactly because it's really big. But it's needed to do it. Vamos a ver algunas. Eh, Hay algunas palabras que necesitamos ver como vocabulario para que se relacionen con ellas. And later on, I'm going to send you. Luego se las voy a enviar a través de el grupo para que usted las tenga ahí ahorita. We are going to do it just, uh, just, we are going to read it to get familiar with uh, those kind of terms. Vamos a leerlo para relacionarlo con algunos términos. Maybe we are not going to read it in order. No vamos a ir leyendo quizás así bien en orden, sino que only son specific. Algunos que tal vez sean como más específicos y que um, are helpful for you. So, son como más útiles para ustedes. This is a kind of, a, I don't know if you can see it very well. Yes, can you see it? Hello? Yes, teacher. Okay, 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 like that. Okay, as you can see, say, describe a machine and pieces of equipment, you know? And maybe some names, and we are not going to read it. Algunos no los vamos a leer como les dije, sino que algunos que tengan relación con lo que estamos más hablando. For example, at the touch of button, what is that? If a machine works at the touch of a button, it works extremely quickly and easy. What is at the touch of a button? What is that? It is just at the moment that you touch the push, you press the button, okay? And for example, you have some copy machine that they are automatic. Yeah, automatic machine or process work by itself rather than being operated by people. And sometimes I've been watching some videos where we can see a lot of different machines that they are uh, creating, building cars. Have you seen the, the biggest maybe it's not the biggest in the world, but it's one of the biggest. No sé si han visto luego eh, una planta que han montado de creación de carros electrónicos. Veamos a ver cómo están en las noticias. Hello. No, ah, pues sí, ya vi que no ven noticias. Estamos, no estamos actualizados con las noticias. Okay, by there, you can see a, a lot of different of 
uh, machines that they are working together, building cars, electronic car, you know, and they are uh, automatic. Okay, automatically it is the same. Auxiliaries, equipment, or system are available for use in the main one fail. It is an auxiliary. Si el principal no funciona, we have an auxiliary, okay? As I told you, no lo vamos a leer todos, but some term is necessary that you keep in mind. For example, broken. If a machine is broken, it is not working correctly, okay? Bill used for showing where a machine's structure was produced or made. Um, in most of the machines they made of Japan, made of China, made of Thailand, and never we can find one some a machine that's made in El Salvador. Have you seen one? Han visto alguna que diga made in El Salvador? No. Yes. Okay, clean machine. Processes and fuels do not create a lot of pollution. And I don't know if you have one in your office or in your company, Cleaver, a Cleaver tool machine or invention is huge, unusual, but good and effective. And clockwork, what about clockwork? It is operated by a set of springs that work when you turn a handle or a key. What is that? What is the clockwork? Operated by a set of springs that work when you turn a handle or a key. And at the moment that you turn on, in the ignition, your your key in your car, you see all the clockwork in the way how they are working, right? En el carro, no más que usted enciende, comienza y mira que se mueve todo el tablero, cierto? Aunque ahora ya no ya no son de agujas, sino que son a uh, digital. Solo vemos numbers. Okay, what about this common string to start to work or be effective? And what about cordless? When we talk about cordless, we are talking about a tool or piece of equipment work without being connected to the electricity supply. Give me an example using this word, cordless. Un ejemplo. An iron. An? Cordless. Yeah, cordless. Using this word. An example. Sí, eh, the iron. Linda. Oh, La yes. viejita. Ah, <laughs> yeah, I, I was thinking, me quedé pensando, yo dije, una plancha que sea inalámbrica. Yeah, maybe could be happen. And the old one uh, used to have a coal. Las antiguas como tenían este charcoal, usaban este carbón. Entonces, se podía decir que eran cordless. No? Okay, uh, phone, for example, you can say this cordless, or also, uh, I don't know if you have in your office some uh, printer. Hay algunas impresoras que son así. You don't need to, to connect it in the electricity. Uh, maybe you don't need to connect with the, with the computer in order to print, yeah? Only as with Wi Fi. Okay, what about cranky? What is cranky? It is informal, likely to start working at any time. And you say, okay, I, I don't like this car because it's cranky. ¿Qué estoy diciendo?
Let me see. Let me see. What is cranky? Se me apaga cada rato el carro, por eso ya no lo quiero. ¿Ya? No, no lo veo que se me quedaron calladitos, así que me voy a cambiar el ritmo porque. I don't want to be uh, speaking. You need to speak too. Thank you. I'm a morado. And what about, uh, I remember, uh, and also you remember that uh, the yellow cap phones, se recuerdan de los teléfonos públicos, unos teléfonos amarillos, no? Bueno. Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Los, jóvenes, yes, teacher. Los, los jovencitos no se acuerdan, solo los viejitos de nosotros. Los que ponía todavía el CTE Antel, you know. And with, with, with coin, we, we, we put it inside and that way we, we can call it. And suddenly we can see a side. De repente tenía un rótulo que decía fuera de servicio. And how do you say that in English? Out of order. Out of order. Me tragaba las monedas. <laughs> Yeah. Y luego con tarjeta. Ah, yes. Eso fue ya, ya eh, antes de pasar a la era digital, era con tarjeta, ¿cierto? Yes. Ok. Hay que buscar uno y mostrárselo a la nueva generación porque no los conoce. Debe de haber un museo donde estén. Porque ellos dicen, no, 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 nunca he visto eso. And we used to stay on, in, the, in the corner of the block. And sometimes making lines. Generalmente estaban en las esquinas y a veces había que esperar hasta dos, tres haciendo línea, ¿no? Do you remember that? ¿Se recuerdan? No, no. Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. ¿Qué, qué película será esa? Dije, Karina, ¿dónde salió? <ríe> bueno, hay que contarle las historias. Hay que contarle las historias a los jovencitos. Okay, uh, let me see. Based on that, what we've been talking, de lo, en lo que hemos estado hablando, I got something in here that I would like to share with you in order to get familiar with the term and the process that sometimes we need to follow. Y el proceso que nosotros algunas veces necesitamos seguir to get familiar with this uh, kind of problem. Because remember that uh, what we are studying it is just how we, are, we can get or how we can solve some problem in different machines. Okay, let me see where I have it. It's gonna be this one, I guess, okay. Okay, I got it here. I don't know if you can see it very well. It's a technical problem before a meeting. That usually happened. Well, it happened to me now, uh, today, you know. Imagine that you are going to have a class and suddenly your computer is not working. Imagine que va a tener una clase y su computadora no le funciona. Or that you are going to have an exposition and your internet service is not really good. Angel know that that happened to me today. Don Angel sabe, a mí me pasó al, al inicio, you know. But I was in a hurry to solve it, the problem. And I did, at the end, I did it. I did it. Al final logré resolver el problema. Okay, read the following conversation between Juan and Peter. Peter is having problem with his laptop before giving a short PowerPoint presentation in a mirror. See what is happening here. Vea, vea lo que está pasando aquí. And pay attention about this. Okay, and said, from the context, try to guess 
what the meaning of the word or phrases in bold are. Then, well, we are going to leave it at the end. If we have time, we are going to do this, but okay. Okay, let us focus our attention in, uh, in the conversation, please. And Juan said, what's happening, Peter? You look frustrated. And Peter said, my laptop won't turn on. It was working before and I don't know what's wrong. What is happening there? And Juan said, is it plug it in? Okay, ¿qué pasó ahí en esos tres eh, apartados? Dígame. Hello. La computadora de Pedro no enciende. Ah. En what John says. Eso primero que dicen los técnicos. Ah, okay, okay. Okay, ¿qué le dice? O bien que la apague o bien que vea si está conectada. <laughs> but in this case, está conectado. Eh, está conectado. It is plugged in, okay. Le dice, yeah, I have connected to the mains electricity. Electricity, and but that shouldn't be important because the laptop battery still have charge or power. And then Juan said, are you sure that the socket in the wall has power? Try to plug in into another socket. What happened there? ¿Qué le dice ahí? Que revise si hay no sé cómo se llama, pero en donde uno conecta, como el toma. Ah, pero ahora sí, así. The socket in the wall has power. Try to plug it into another socket. What is the meaning of the word plug? Plug. What is plug? Desconectar. Yes, plug. Okay, pero veo que se me están durmiendo ya. Enchufar, teacher. Okay. And Peter said, I tried that already. And the socket has power. I saw that there may be a problem with the power cable. That is working fine with the other laptops here. And Juan said, I have a problem with my desktop computer last year where the wires had come loose in the power cable. So I had to replace the power cable. You can use my laptop to show it. ¿Qué pasa ahí? ¿Qué dice Juan? Hello? El cable de la computadora era el problema. Mm, could be. And Peter said, thanks, Juan. But uh, I only say the presentation to my hard drive so I can show the presentation on my laptops. And let me see what else is happening here. Oh, it's a big paragraph. And, and, and Juan said, can you remember when I had the problem with my laptop in July? When suddenly the screen froze and the laptop wouldn't respond when I press any of the keys on the keyboard or when I move my finger on the touch pad. Sometime it recovered and I could continue to use the application. But the other time it crashed and it stopped working completely. So I had to report the laptop. It was so frustrating because I sometimes lost all of the work I've been doing. Then the application didn't load at all, so I couldn't even use it 
then the IT engineer told me it was a software call with the application. So she just reinstalled the application and it's been working fine. And Peter say, I'm happy for you, but I don't have any power to let to the laptop. So it's not a software fault. It seemed like a hardware fault. Well, it is the, the end. Okay, I need that you read it because I need that you produce sounds. Necesito que usted lo lea, que usted aprenda. Okay, I got it here. I got it here. Let me move this a little bit. Okay. Um, okay, let me put it here. Okay, I need two volunteers. Me, teacher. Yes. Okay, somebody else, please. A man, a man, a man. Gentlemen, where are you? Caballero, por favor, un caballero. Hello. Okay, I need two. Necesito dos. Two volunteers who want to read it. Dos que quieran leerlo, por favor. Hello. Me, teacher. Ah, okay. Me. Okay, okay, okay. Do it, do it, do it, do it, do it. Okay. What's happened, Peter? You look frustrated. My laptop won't turn on. It was working before. I don't know what's wrong. Is it, it, is it plugged in? Yeah, I have connected it to the main electricity, but that shouldn't be important because the laptop's battery still has charge of Power. Power. Are you? Are you sure? Are you sure that the socket in the wall has power? Try to plug it to into another socket. I've tried that already, and the socket has power. I thought that there no, there may be a problem with the power. Have, have the cable, but it's working fine with the other laptop here. I had a problem with my desktop computer last year where the wireless had come loose in the power cable. So I had to replace to the power cable. You, you can see you can use it my laptop to show to show it. Thanks, Juan. Are you only? Continue, continue, continue. Peter. Teacher. Can you please? Thank you. Um, thanks, Juan, but I only saved the presentation to my hard drive, so I can't show the presentation on your laptop. Can you remember when I had the problem with my laptop in July, when suddenly the screen froze? And the laptop wouldn't, wouldn't respond. Okay. Respond when I press it, press it any of the keys on the keyboard, or when I move my finger on the touchpad. Sometimes it recovers, and I could continue to use the application. But other times it's crashed and stopped. 
working completely. So I had to reboot the laptop. It was so frustrating because I sometimes lost all of the work I'd been doing. Then the application didn't, didn't load at all. So I couldn't even use it then. The IT engineer told me it was a software fault with the application. So the just reinstall, reinstalling the application and it is be, it's been working fine. I'm happy for you, but I don't have any power to the laptop, so it's not a software fault. It seems like a hardware fault. Okay, thank you, thank you. I don't know if somebody else wants to do it. Only just one more couple. No sé si alguien más quiere hacerlo. No. Okay, I know there is a, a long conversation, but uh, it is kind of uh, clear how you are going to explain what is happening to your computer or your printer or something like that, you know? Okay, let me see what else what we are going to do. Okay, let me go to Okay, right here we got some expression for describing issues. Right here, uh, we have, for example, I have a look at it. I have a look at it. I need to speed thing up. It doesn't work properly. Check the brush once a fortnight. It makes a strange noise. I had to extend the chat or I need to a minor fall are some example of some words that we can use it, right? And you can uh, later on work on this exercise number five because what we need is just to, to talk about a problem that may occur with the machinery at your workplace and use it in the conversation number one as a model. And in that way you can uh, you can adapt, imagine that you have a problem with in, in your office and you can adapt the conversation that we already started. For example, we already talked about printer and you can adapt that conversation or also maybe you can create your own. O también ustedes pueden crear sus sus conversaciones cortas de algún problema que esté pasando in your office. I'm going to create a breakout room and you are going in two minutes try to create a, a short conversation. When I say short, you have to understand that I'm telling that it's short conversation, okay? Let me recreate. Okay, try to do it. Cristina, Cristina, Norma, Carolina.
Norma Carolina. Okay, okay. I know that the time is short, but uh, I don't know if somebody of you want to share uh, your shared conversation related to a machine. Volunteer, please. Volunteer, volunteers. Only yes, two couples, two pairs. Solo dos parejas necesito que hagan la conversación corta referente a algún problema de alguna máquina. Only two. Who wants to do it? Who wants to do it? No. You are going to imagine that you are talking maybe with your boss or with the person in charge of giving a, a maintenance. Like the one that I already explained, the lady that said that sometime uh, what she need to do is just to make a video conference in order to solve the problem. Okay, tell me. Dime, 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 dime.
imagine that um, I have my car in the parking lot and suddenly I had to go and open the door and I put the key in the ignition and, and I want to start my car, but it doesn't start. What can I do? A la hora que quiero arrancar mi carro no me funciona. What can I do? And first I check the battery. Ah, okay. You can you you need to open the hook. And so please check the battery, be sure to turn on lights. And that way you are going to be sure that you have a power. Okay, what else? That is what I need. Eso es lo que necesito. Suddenly the secretary say, okay, I need to talk with my boss because uh, I can send this information. I don't know what else you can tell me. Okay, Nancy, tiene la mano arriba, okay? Tell me, Nancy. 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 Ah, Suleyma. Suleyma. Tell me, Suleyma. Permitir. Sorry, teacher. Eh, tuve problemas de internet. Ah, ok. Por eso le aparece la mano arriba, pero le estábamos llamando. <laughs> sorry, sorry. Creo que estaba con un compañero y se me desconectó la, la, el grupo. Ah, ok. Ok, uh, well, if you want just share at uh, least two experience in your, in your workplaces, like the one that the lady explained. ¿Alguien más que quiera compartir con nosotros? ¿Algún problema que tenga o que haya tenido en su oficina? No. Hurry up, because right now it is late. It is late. Es tarde, ya es tarde. Ayer, on a blue screen. Ok, tell me, tell me. Hello. The computer is a blue screen. Ah, oh, okay, okay, okay. And what happened? What happened next? ¿Qué sucedió después? How do you solve the problem? ¿Cómo resolví el problema? Do you remember that? You had to call the technician and in order to check it and fix it? No sé si te dice starter, como reiniciar. Ah, okay. Restarter. Restarter. Push up, no sé, como parar y encender. Turn off, okay. But suddenly in those cases, it's better to call the technician to check up the, the software. Maybe the hard disk is not working properly. If for that reason happened, something like that. Okay, I'm going to check out the attendance, try to keep it uh, there. Okay, let me see here. Ana del Carmen. Present teacher. Angel. Present teacher. Sina. Present. Giovanni. Present teacher. Harrison. Present. Eh, Jose Miguel. Juan Carlos. Karina. Present. Linda. Present teacher. Maria Idalia. Present teacher. Maria Julia. Present. 
Marlin. Marlin. It's not here. Okay, um, Nancy. Norma. Present teacher. Okay, Rafael. I'm here, teacher. Rafael. Present. Reinaldo. Present teacher. Suleima. Present teacher. Xiomara. Present teacher. Ana Cristina. And I don't know who is the one who is going to stay with me in the last 10 minutes. Do you remember the name? No? So, recuerdan a quien le corresponde ahora el one by one today? No. But I'm going to remember you. Let me see. Let me check it. Okay, today is okay. Maria Julia Gomez Arevalo, are you there? Yes. Hello, Maria Julia. Uh, Hello, oh, Maria Julia. Is there? No? No, teacher, no. Se fue. Oh, ya no dear. está. It's not here? Okay, thank you very much. Then uh, remember that Maybe sometimes we have some question and we need to have the time to talk about this. Remember that it's kind of mandatory. Esa parte de los 10 minutos siempre es importante. A veces, aun y cuando uno crea que no tiene alguna pregunta, es muy importante porque es parte de su formación y por eso ya está programado. Así es que... Ahí se les deja una notita eh, en la asistencia y se les dice abandono antes de es mi, mi, mi trabajo, ¿no? Ok, entonces uh, creo que a estas alturas ya terminaron todas las actividades, el midterm, solo 100 hay ahí, entonces I invite you to continue doing your best and try to practice and participate in the class and that way you are going to increase your skill and knowledge. Thank you very much. I really appreciate to see you again and I hope to see you tomorrow. Bye-bye. Good night. See you. Excuse me, teacher. Maria. Yes. Me. Can I have uh, the 10 minutes, please? On um, yesterday, I... Very I good. had it, but I, okay, I okay. didn't connect. Okay, no problem. Stay with me now. Thank you. Okay, bye-bye. See you tomorrow. Tomorrow, good teacher. Good, good night, 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 teacher. Good night, good night. Good night, everyone. Good night, good night. Sweet dreams. See you, Angel. Bye. Take care, Mr. Angel. See you, Nancy. Bye bye, Nancy. 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 Hold on a second. Creo que no está. Sí, creo que se lo. No, no es. Sí. Um... No, teacher, solamente agradecerle eh, por la comprensión y créame que me ha sido difícil, es algo nuevo para mí. Y la verdad es que a mí siempre me ha gustado ser muy responsable y aplicada, o sea, participar mucho porque para, principalmente es para mi beneficio. 
Ok. Pero Excelente. quiero agradecerle su comprensión y disculparme por las faltas que he tenido. Ok, no hay problema. Uh, we understand that the situation. The problem is that uh, you need to keep in mind that at the beginning, um, English Corporativo explained to all of you that you need to be connected because in that way, uh, at the end, you are not going to have any problem. But I know that sometimes there are some problems. Eh, nosotros entendemos que algunas veces siempre se presentan algunas dificultades que hacen todo muy complicado, ¿no? Pero eh, la sugerencia es que trate de conectarse para que eso le vaya sumando minutos, porque al final se recuerda, eh, van contabilizándose los minutos que usted está conectado. Entonces es, es sumamente importante. Imagínese un ejemplo, si sale tarde de su trabajo, eh, lógico que cuando vaya en el bus o va en el carro no puede ir con su cámara encendida pero al menos está conectada y, y, y escribe un mensajito, mire, voy en camino, pero de aquí voy conectada. Entonces eso, esos tiempos le cuentan, ¿verdad? Para que así al final no haya problema. Ah, no sé si tenga alguna duda o pregunta referente a algún tema que ya vimos. No, eh, en cuanto a los temas, sí estoy bien clara. La verdad es que siento que se explica bien. Okay. Y nada, solo agradecerle por la ayuda del día de ayer para solventar, para resolver los, los ejercicios de la página. Ok, excelente. Eh, y lo logré al final. Oh, ok, me alegra eso. Eh, lo más importante es que, bueno, en mi caso como facilitador lo que trato es de darle como algunas ideas, ¿no? Porque no le podemos dar así de una sí. la respuesta y eso debe de comprenderse, ¿verdad? Solamente es una luz y usted de rapidito, yo vi que usted de rapidito reaccionó y dijo, ah, ya vi dónde está. Y eso es bastante bueno, ¿no? Porque de esa manera, ah, pues ya para la próxima vamos como con esa idea y viendo cómo vamos a resolver los siguientes ejercicios. Ok, entonces me alegra mucho que los temas los tenga muy claros. Eh, en mi caso trato de por todos los medios de, de, de clarificarles lo más que puedo pero como le he dicho a sus compañeros si de repente sienten que estoy hablando muy rápido eh, solo me avisan y yo le bajo un poco ¿verdad? y por eso es que hoy he ido preguntándoles diciéndoles comprende esto comprende pero no tengan eh, temor de decirme mire explíqueme esto de nuevo por favor esa es, esa es la función nuestra, ¿no? Sí, no, no yo cuando empecé me pasó. Yo <risa> creo que eso yo ya lo perdí porque ya se burlaron de mí por pronunciar muy mal las palabras y creo que por eso me he enfocado bastante en, en pues sí, en aprender, ¿verdad? Ah, ok, sí. Pero si usted se fija, la mayoría de, de compañeros suyos, que, los que más participan son los que más aprenden. Pero eh, hay algunos que no quieren todavía como lanzarse, ¿no? Pero va a llegar el momento y no pierdo la fe ni las esperanzas. <risa> yes. Eso es lo más importante porque es un proceso que todos hemos pasado. Es como cuando comienza a hablar y todo lo va traduciendo. Es un proceso. De repente va a encontrar el punto que ya no traduce y solo agarra palabras y de repente dice wow, ¿y qué estoy hablando? Entonces, a eso es lo que vamos apuntándole. Y por eso es que en la mayoría de la clase nos mantenemos solamente hablando inglés, 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 para que su oído se vaya adaptando. El objetivo no es confundir a nadie, sino que al final el oído se aclare y como ya va oyendo y entonces dice, ah, esta palabra se dice así, esta no, esta sí. Entonces, de esa manera, ¿ok? Sí. Bueno, le agradezco el tiempo, eh, le agradezco el tiempo, le invito a que siga adelante. Sé que no es fácil estar a esta hora, más si tiene eh, niños o, bueno, la familia está esperando alguna cuestión, si salió tarde, pero como le he dicho siempre a todos, todo esfuerzo al final pues trae su recompensa, ¿no? 
Y a veces hay que tardarse para esperarlo, pero, ¿verdad? Dios tarda, pero no olvida. Así es que, thank you very much. Have a good night. I hope to see you tomorrow. Bye, bye. Gracias, teacher. Good night. Okay, good night.